YouTube. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, conic sections, but specifically parabolas. So basically a crash course and everything you want to know about parabolas defined in the XY coordinate plane. So let's start with defining what we mean by a parabola. Okay, of course, if you've been studying conic sections, you know that a parabola is just one of a set of points that satisfy some given condition. Okay, and that given condition is what we're going to explore here. So we see the definition of a parabola I've written is this, it is the set of all points xy, or the locus of points xy, in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line, which we call the directrix, and a fixed point, which we call the focus. So, one thing I can tell you is this, it's a lot easier to understand what a parabola is if I actually just draw one for you. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to turn my pen tool on here, and we're going to go ahead and give it a little sketch, but basically, uh, you know, I'm not even going to drop an axis, let's go ahead and start with just the pure definition, but we say, Every conic section basically has a focus, you know, uh, but so does a parabola. We say a parabola in, the, in, a, in a basic sense here, we say is this kind of U-looking thing, and we said, well, previously, from what we know about parabolas, which probably up until now we've defined as some Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C thing, you know, but I don't want to go too far into equation stuff until the next page here, but we say a parabola, what do we know about it? We say it has a vertex. In this new conic sex, section sense of the word, however, we say it has a focus. That focus is located directly above the vertex on the inside of this, okay? So we're going to refer to this as the focus, and it gets no fancy letters or anything. We just call it a focus. The other thing is this. Now, I said directly north of our vertex here. Now, we can have a sideways opening parabola, and we'll kind of sketch one of those in here in a second. And forgive my line here, but this is some line here. We refer to this line, not our parabola, of course, as the axis, and this is nothing new. I mean, if you've made this like pre-calculus, for example, this is algebra one, we refer to this as the axis. And then last but not least, we say uh, it has a directrix. So now you're going to have to forgive my direct directrix here, but we're going to refer to this horizontal line as its directrix. Okay. So we're going to go back and we're taking another look at this definition that I gave us up here. But basically, a parabola is kind of oriented thusly, and it is what it is uh, because of this. It does not matter what point you pick on the outside of this parabola. I actually want to switch over. Let's switch over to like a red. We said all the points x, y on this blue curve here are in a collection of points called a locus that satisfy this given condition. Now up here I write that every point on the curve is equidistant with the same distance uh, from a fixed line, which is the directrix here, and a fixed point, which is the focus. So for example, if we were to pick this point right here, we call this point like x, y. Coolest thing in the world is this. If I draw a line between it and the focus, now you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit, but a direct line, so that'd be like a 90 degree angle here. What I'm saying is this distance here and this distance here have to be the same distance. So we can pick a point way up here. Now again, I drew this picture very skewed. So like a line from that point to the focus and a line from that point to the directrix, you know, we'd say then this segment must be congruent to this segment. So here's what I'm going to do for us. I'm actually going to pop over to uh, GeoGebra. We're going to construct, going to construct, uh, as soon as I find it here. Oh, that's right, it's right here. We're going to construct a parabola. So first thing I want you to notice is this, you know, I don't know if I can hover uh, above this up here. We say a parabola tool, it's going to ask me to do two things. Say select a point and a directrix. So maybe we, we get some things out of the way here. Get my pointer tool out. We'll get the grid out of the way. But it says a point and a directrix. Now recall a directrix. Actually, we'll put that grid back in there so everybody can see how I'm measuring these things. A directrix was a line. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop in a line, kind of like I oriented my picture here, but we say a line with a slope of zero. We'll just call that our line AB. And a point. So what if we chose this point directly like north of this here? So we could say like, I don't know, um, four. So I want to make a parabola. So it says choose a point and a directory. This is our point and a directory. Now we say this point is our focus, C, the one we dropped in here, and this is our directory. But a few things we want to say about this right off the bat. The vertex. One can necessarily say this. Now the focus is always on the inside of the curve and along its axis here. So we could we can now get some things out of the way. Like this here. Uh, just just for a moment here. But you can see that if I were to pass a line through the focus and the vertex, you get this vertical axis right here. Okay, And so we refer to this as the axis of the parabola. But we said any point that I drop on the outside, what if we dropped a point? Actually, by dropping that on there, see what it's done is anchored it. But we said if I were to find now the distance between this, 
So we'll drop in a segment here and the focus. So we've now got this kind of like, you know, piece of rope connecting the two. Here's our distance there. We now need to construct the distance between this point E here and, and the directrix, which was this line down here, okay? So what I'm going to need to do is I'm actually going to need to drop in a perpendicular line straight down from E down to here. And we'll put, um, we'll put a line or a point on the intersection of those two lines, the directrix in that perpendicular, and then we'll just go back and make a segment from here to here. And then turn off that whole line right there. We don't need that whole thing. So there are my, there are my two segments, and I say, okay, so these, these segments represent the distance from each point on the parabola to the focus into the directrix directly. And if we were to measure this distance now, we say, okay, so like CE and uh, EF, I'm all about the alphabetical. Check that out, this is like the coolest thing in the world, but every parabola like does this. So we say every parabola has a directrix and every parabola has a focus. The focus is always on the inside of the parabola. And uh, we say every point is equidistant. Check that out, all those distances remain equidistant uh, to the focus and the directrix. So we're gonna do a little bit of commentary on parabolas today, essentially. Um, but starting with this, let's start with their equations, okay? So go over here, we're gonna take, we're gonna take a look at these, excuse me. <clears throat> but we say this is the standard equation of a parabola, okay? So we say the standard form of the equation of a parabola with vertex at hk, uh, they are as follows. Now, I say are as follows, not is as follows, even though I've written it there, because there's more than one. You're gonna notice here, We've got this first equation right here. We say, okay, so x minus h quantity squared equals 4p and then times the quantity y minus k where p is not allowed to be zero. We're gonna talk about why this is true in a minute. I also mentioned this. We say that if it is the first equation that this has a vertical axis and the directrix is at y equals k minus p for any formulaically inclined folk out there. I'm not real big on formula. I like to draw a picture, but we say the second equation here, you, know, you notice in the second equation, the y quantity is squared. They say y minus k. We still have k paired with y. But uh, we see that it is the squared quantity, and on the right side, we still have 4p. We have an x minus h, and in this instance, we have a horizontal axis. So the directrix is x equals h minus p, again, for your uh, formula formulaically inclined folks. So just real quick, I just want to kind of point a few things out. But basically, we say, okay, so in the xy coordinate plane, we could say a few things about our parabola here, but let's say we have a vertically oriented uh, parabola. Maybe it, maybe it opens down like this, you know, we got this parabola here. One thing I can tell you about this parabola is certainly this, that it has a vertex, and that vertex, according to our definition over here, is at hk. Now, h and k, you'll notice in the formulas over here, let me switch back to red, over here, they're minus signs. So h and k, whatever you think they might be, they're actually kind of backwards, what you might say. So like this point over here, if it was like 4, 2, 4, 2, you know, I might write that x minus uh, the x value there, 4 squared equals 4py minus 2, something like that. Uh, but we say it looks like negative 4 and negative 2, when in reality, you know, the point might be 4, 2. But again, okay, so we say our, our, our uh, vertex is at hk. We also know that this would have like a vertical axis, and I'm saying that if it has a vertical axis, then the directrix is uh, x equals h minus, uh, h minus p. And then we'll talk about p here, okay, so we say focus. So now focus is on the inside of this, and we say, okay, so we've got a directrix running on the outside here. Okay, and we say that p, now p is an interesting quantity, but we say p here, okay, is the directed distance. Now, directed distance. What does it mean when I say directed distance? This is really important. But directed distance basically means this. If it's a north-south oriented parabola, if uh, the distance between the vertex from the vertex to the focus, okay, so from the vertex to the focus is going down, then we say p is negative. Uh, if, the, if the distance from the vertex to the, to the focus was going up, if we had a vertically oriented parabola here, you know, the focus was on the inside up here. We say P would be positive because we're going up. Let's take a look at the instance where we have like a left-right oriented uh, parabola. And in this instance, I'm actually going to do something really kind of unique. But I'm going to put the vertex at the origin. Let's say it opens to the right. Okay, and I do want to show you something here. If it opens to the right, then we'd say, well, then the axis, the axis here would be the line Y equals 0, which in reality is Y equals, um, y equals K minus P. 
from above, okay? But also this, we say the focus here, we'd also have a directrix that is equal distance the other way. But we'd say in this instance, we say P, P would be this directed distance here, P, okay? Directed distance would be positive in this instance also. Uh, well, simply because uh, we went to the right. From the vertex to the focus, we went to the right. So, you know, basically, whenever P is positive, you say it either opens to the right or opens up. Whenever P is negative, it opens down or opens to the left, depending upon how it is oriented. Okay. So the last thing I want to say about, uh, about, about these images here before I kind of go back and look at a few properties of parabolas, uh, simply these. Uh, if it was centered at the origin, we would say then the vertex would be 0, 0, and HK would be 0, 0. And so if we were to plug these into the original formula, we would say, you know, for example, this is a sideways oriented, uh, you know, parabola here. So we'd say, you know, the Y quantity would be squared. That would be, that would be kind of a way to look at it. Uh, but basically, we'd say, okay, so Y minus the, the, the that squared equals 4PX minus um, 0. We get y squared equals 4px, which is kind of what you're, you're seeing here, is, is what I wanted to mention for you. Okay, so the last uh, few things I want to mention about these before we kind of do a quick example and end this video, uh, simply this. We say if the x quantity is the one being squared, x quantity is the one being squared for you picture in Klein quote, we say then it is either an up, down, or an upward or a downward oriented parabola. And if it's the y quantity that's being squared in the second instance, it's either opening to the right or opening to the left. Okay. And then the other things I wanted to mention uh, were simply these. Going back to the original page we looked at here, we can point a few more things out before we kind of continue. We say the midpoint between the focus and the directrix is the vertex of the parallel. So basically say, you know, look at the body of the parallel here, you know, like the anatomy. But we can always say this, the vertex is always the midpoint between kind of this segment here and this segment here. It's always halfway between there. And that's important because if we know this distance P here, this distance P, then basically what I can tell you is, you know, this is also P units away down here, P. Uh, also, this a line passing through the focus and the vertex is the axis of the parabola. So basically what this means is this, whether your parabola opens up or down or left or right, you know, if you have a parabola that's doing this here and we say here's the vertex, well then the axis here the focus has to lie on the axis. It has to be on that axis. And last but not least, we say all parabolas are symmetrical with respect to their axis. So like the left side of this parabola on the right I just sketched here is the same as the right side of this parabola. So let's go ahead and uh, consider these two formulas up here again one last time. Now knowing what P is, P is the directed distance from the vertex to the focus. Okay, that's always important. Uh, but basically, we could necessarily, if I said, let's have some fun with this, uh, find the standard equation of a parabola with a vertex at the origin and the focus at 2, 0. The number one rule you need to take away from this is this, draw a picture. So let's go ahead and sketch an image of what we see, and then if we have time, we'll back it up in GeoGebra. But for now, we say, okay, so here's what we know. The standard equation of the parabola with the vertex at the origin, so we know the vertex is at the origin, okay, and the focus is at 2, 0. So 2, 0, you know, not a bad idea to label this. I know that since the focus is here and the vertex is here, that I'm going to be opening to the right. So we say vertex, focus. So it would be something that looks like this. And I also know this because the focus has to lie on the axis of the parabola. As a matter of fact, we can define the axis of this parabola as being the line y equals 0, which is what we want to do. And also this, we can obviously see that not only do we know the vertex, which is the h, which are the h and k that we will need, h and k from the formula, uh, but we also know p. p is the directed distance from the vertex to the focus. So you notice that p goes to the right too, which is kind of like, you know, displaced two to the right. It's kind of two positive kind of thing. Uh, but we also know the directrix then is two to the left of this. So we're going to draw on the directrix. And yes, I know it's annoying when math teachers ask you to draw on the directrix, but uh, you know you should do this. You know it shows you have an understanding of kind of what the relationship between your points and the foci are. So basically, we say here's our parabola here. We already know p. We know h and k. You know, really, we drew the picture to kind of see what we're dealing with here. Um, it's a sideways opening parabola, so we know that. When we deal with the formula here, we're going to have y minus a value squared equals 4 times p. Okay, so we say k here, p here, and then x minus h. h will go here. 
And so now we can just directly substitute these values in. So you'll notice that since we're plugging in 0 and 0 for h and k, we could, you could have used the second variation of formulas down here, which we, we'd say y squared equals 4px, and you'll see that here in a second. But when we plug in p, we say p was 2. We end up with this. Okay, so now, simplifying this, we get y minus 0 squared is just y squared. Okay, and we say 8 times x minus 0, or 8 times x. We say we end up with this formula right here. We say our 4px, which is really this thing right here, is there. Okay, so we say y squared equals 8x. You know, this would be really easy if we, uh, if we just real quick kind of plug this in. Uh, we'll get everything out of the way here. Um, so delete, turn our grid and our axes back on. Uh, but we say y second power equals 8x. And you see, there she is, you know. And so, like, you know, we drop in the points here just real quick. We say, you know, we had a focus at 2, 0. But we also had a directrix at the line x equals negative 2. And then there's a the line right there. You can kind of see these things in relation to one another. And, uh, yeah. So, quick video on how to write the standard form of the equation of a parabola and what a parabola really is. Next few videos, uh, we'll develop a little bit more of uh, the techniques for finding equations of parabolas.